Minutes before Nelson's DC-3 crashed, air traffic controllers were in contact with the plane. The conversation recorded shortly after the plane left Texarkana en route to Dallas. Okay, 1-1 uh, Yankee, can you make it back to Texarkana? The air traffic controller was apparently unable to make out the transmission. An American Eagle commercial plane relayed the message. 1-1 Yankee, you're breaking up. Uh, can you state your nature of the emergency? City had smoke in the cockpit center, 1756 relaying. The controller then suggested the pilot land at airports either in Texarkana or Mount Pleasant, both 20 miles away. The American Eagle pilot offered to guide Nelson's plane to a landing spot, but it was too late. I think our controllers did everything they possibly could do. FAA officials today said air traffic controllers handled the distress call properly, including a 20-second time lapse between the first call for help and the controller's response. At that time, we didn't know what the type of emergency was, exactly what his problem was, and I think that's the natural time where the controllers uh, try to uh, assess the situation. Reporters also question why Nelson's plane wasn't I told to land at a smaller private airport, less than three miles from the crash site. We're not sure of their condition. With an aircraft the size of a DC-3, you don't know whether that would be a help or a hindrance. The cause of the crash is still under investigation tonight by the National Transportation Safety Board. Cindy Kirkendall, Channel 5 News, Fort Worth.